Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. I can't believe it's taken me this long to highlight this piece of news, but it has been a rather busy month. John Wu, the lead developer of Majisk, has recently released version 28 as a beta. This update can be downloaded and installed right now and it comes with a lot of cleaned up code, some important optimizations, and a few new features. Right off the bat, we're told that version 28 of Majisk comes with support for 16K page size devices. This is a new feature that is still currently in development. I showed it off with my Pixel 8 here, so I'll link to that video down below for anyone who is not familiar with what it is. The developers of Majisk have gotten around to adding basic support for RISC-V chips. However, full support is not included in this beta release at this time. Another big change is the switch to minimal libc for building static executables like Majisk INIT and Majisk Boot, which allow for smaller sizes. As far as the core Majisk work is concerned, they've removed an unnecessary mirror for Magic Mount, and they've updated the boot image detection logic so that it can support more devices. Majisk INIT has updated its pre-INIT partition detection system and they have rewritten the 2SI logic that's used for injecting Majisk INIT as INIT on our devices. Zygisk has also been updated to use an internal JNI hooking implementation. And Majisk policy has had a few changes as well that optimize the patching rules which is nice as it will reduce the amount of new rules that are being injected. And it also preserves the SE policy config flag after it has been patched as well. The deny list should now work even when Zygisk is disabled. The reset prop has been updated to better work with property overlays and they've improved the implementation used to work around several property modification detection systems as well. The Majisk application itself has also received a number of few changes, including some major refactoring with the internal code base. It now supports patching Samsung firmware files that are larger than eight gigabytes in size and it will use the user-initiated job instead of foreground services on devices running Android 14 and up. The app now supports the built-in per-app language preferences that were launched with Android 13, and they've added support for action.sh scripts to allow modules to define an action that's triggered from the user interface. The last things mentioned in this update are changes to Majisk Boot, which now supports splitting kernel images without decompression. It now properly supports vendor boot images, and it will properly disable Samsung PROCA from the kernel image. It's been a long time since we've seen a new update to Majisk. Remember, this release of version 8 is still considered a beta, but it can and should be installed for devices that are now supported. You can update within the app by switching to the beta channel via the settings, and then let the app itself update the binaries from here. As usual, you should only download this update directly from the GitHub page, so I'll have that linked below as well. And please, remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content like this.